Hello everyone, my name is Charles Baby Davide from 2DVMB and today we are going to tackle about summer and winter management of poultry. For starters, the learning objectives are the following. To know about the stress due to summer and winter, the adverse effects of summer and elevating measures, and the adverse effects of winter and elevating measures. In summer management of poultry, chickens are very sensitive to environmental temperature. Their growth, egg production, and health are severely affected during extremes of weather. Therefore, within the economically feasible limits, ideal temperature has to be provided to the birds in order to obtain optimal growth rate and returns from the birds. For optimum feed efficiency, an ideal temperature range of 21 degrees to 24 degrees Celsius is needed. However, in tropical climates, these temperature ranges may be obtained during winter only. During other seasons, especially during summer, the ambient temperature goes several degrees higher than the ideal zone, causing severe depression in the growth rate and air production, thereby leading to great economic loss to poultry farmer. By proper summer management, these losses can be overcome to a great extent. Good day everyone, my name is Paul Joseph Ferdelis from 2DBMB and I'm going to show you what are the adverse effects and we need to say the various physiological and phytological changes that takes place in a flock during high summer temperature and we are going to meet them in the next following slides. And here we are, we have first in the line the energy intake and thereby feed consumption and other nutrients intake reduces as the environmental temperature increases. This is because birds need less energy for maintenance of body temperature when the ambient temperature is high. Consequently, growth rate and body weight of birds will become lower. And next, there will be early twofold increase in the water consumption of birds during summer because during higher environmental temperature, the major way to lose the excess heat produced in the body is by loss of water vapor through expired air. We have third, high ambient temperature increases the respiratory rate and body temperature. Since there are no sweat glands in a poultry, they will start panting vigorously in order to lose the excess body heat produced. As the outside temperature increases, the heat production as well as the heat loss from the body decreases. And on to the next slide. For every 1 degree Celsius increase in ambient temperature, the heat production in the body decreases by about 1%. And on the other hand, water loss through respiration increases with increase in ambient temperature. On to the third one in the slide. High environmental temperature on the other hand decreases oxygen consumption, blood pressure, pulse rate, thyroid size and activity, blood calcium level and body weight. The problems with ectoparasites will be more during summer and the following months soon. Moreover, high environmental temperature associated with high relative humidity may lead to outbreaks of casidiosis. And on to the next slide again. Low feed intake and thereby low coccidiostat consumption will further aggravate coccidiosis outbreaks. Incidences of fatty liver hemorrhagic syndrome and other metabolic disorders like heat stroke, liver rupture, and etc. are more during summer, especially in the case of heavy broilers. Next, birds will shed more feathers during summer in order to lose the excess body heat produced. And at high environmental temperatures, nearing the body temperature of the birds, Vaporization of body water through respired air is the only way to lose substantial amount of heat from the body. However, this is possible only when the inspired air has very low moisture levels. But if both temperature and relative humidity are high, birds will not be able to lose excess body heat and will finally die of heat prostration. And on to the last line of the slide. Fatty birds succumb first, perhaps because their air sacs are rather constricted and thereby not able to evaporate moisture and produce coolness efficiently. Caged birds and 
birds reared on slat floors will suffer more due to high environmental temperature than birds reared on litter floors because birds on litter can cool themselves to some extent by dusting themselves in the litter. We have next, heavy mortality due to heat stroke will be noticed among heavy boilers in the late afternoon and evening. And the last one on this slide, temperature affects egg breakage. Elevated environmental temperature is associated with decrease in shell quality. And finally, here we are on the last slide of adverse effects. Reduction of shell thickness produced by heat stress is apparently due to respiratory alkalosis, which causes lowering of partial pressure of carbon dioxide in the lungs and raises blood pH. And on to the last one, as the ambient temperature increases above 26 degrees Celsius, the egg size, however, declines. Alleviating measures for summer. Adverse effects due to high environmental temperature can be overcome to a considerable event extent by proper management of the flock, house, feed, and etc. By proper roofing, the temperature inside the poultry houses can be kept at 50 to 100 degrees Celsius below outside temperature. Tough roofing of about 6 inches thickness provides optimum comfort to the birds during summer than any other roofing material. However, due to the risk of fire, less durability, more depre depreciation, and rodent problem, touch roofing is not preferred especially by large farms. In large farms, aluminum roof is preferred due to its durability resale value and rear reflecting properties in case of non-insulated -iso houses the roof must be raised to a sufficient height from the floor level because higher the roof cooler will be the poultry house the minimum height between the floor and the roof must be 4 and 3.5 meters at the ridge and eaves respectively the eaves at the roof shall project out at least one meter on all the four sides as overhang to prevent direct sunlight and rain water entering into the house. Provide ridge ventilation such as half monitor or full monitor. Further, where the summer is very severe, the roof may be insulated either by covering with a layer of touch or by painting the upper surface of the roof with a white paint such as white waterproof paint or aluminum paint to reflect the sun rays back and the inner surface may be painted with a black paint or tar to absorb the heat from within. In tropics, in order to prevent direct sunlight falling into poultry houses, the long axis of the houses have to face north and south. Example, the houses must be orientated east to west with a slight tilt towards southern side in the east and towards north in the west. This type of orientation also prevents severe drops and rainwater sprinkling into poultry houses during monsoon. Open type cross ventilation is recommended in tropics except for a 20 cm height wall. All the four sides up to the roof should be provided with 12 mm size and 18 gauge chicken wire mesh or 25 mm size chain link mesh. As far as possible, the width of the poultry houses shall not exceed 10 meters. If the width of the poultry house exceeds 10 meters, Cross ventilation alone may not be effective in providing proper airflow in poultry houses. In such cases, also provide ridge ventilation in the roof or mecha mechanical ventilation. Provide tunnel ventilation along with pad coolers and or foggers. For the continuation of alleviating measures for summer, provide plenty of fresh, clean, and cool drinking water during the hot weather. The water pipe should not be exposed in sunlight. Change the water when it gets heated up. In order to encourage the feed intake of birds during summer, reduce the energy content of the feed by about 10%. It is also advisable to provide an addition of protein and slightly increase the levels of vitamins. Since feed consumption generates more body heat, avoid feeding broilers over 4 weeks of age. 
If automatic winchable feeders are used, leave the feeders between 9 and 18 hours. Large farms in hot and dry climate may opt for environmentally controlled poultry houses. Avoid overcrowding. Increase floor space by at least 10% during summer. By proper roofing, the temperature inside the poultry houses can be kept at 5 degrees to 10 degrees Celsius below the outside temperature. Drugs and chemicals may be administered through feed or water to make the birds to withstand hot weather. If mechanical ventilation is provided, increase the airflow rate and air exchanges by at least 25% during summer. Do not disturb the birds and make them panic during hot weather. For birds kept in cages, the center height of building should be a minimum of 14 feet. Addition of 0.48% potassium chloride to water lowered heat stress in layers. These are adverse effects of winter. Chick mortality due to lower temperature. Most of the energy used by the birds maintain their body heat, thus retarding its growth. Combs become cyanotic. Birds do not reach peak production during the expected period. Next, sexual maturity is delayed in pullets and these birds turn out to be poor layers. Birds consume more feed to maintain body temperature. More moisture is retained in winter. If the overhang is not long enough, rainwater can splash in and cause a wet little problem. Next, houses must be built on an elevated ground. To prevent stagnation of water, a lower environmental temperature increases oxygen consumption. Cooler temperatures are immunocompressive and thus predispose birds to infectious agents just like CRD, infectious bronchitis, avian influenza, and coryza, etc. Next, provide clean litter material and increase the thickness of litter. Provide good ventilation but prevent chill air from entering in. Seal all the cracks and crevices. Remove all leaking waters and repair leaky roofs. The overhang must be 4 to 6 feet in length and to withstand wind to prevent rainwater. Next, the roof height should be lowered. Asbestos roof may be used as they hold the warmth within the house. Side curtains can be used during severe winds. Ceiling fans may be used to move hot air from the ceiling. Plastic sheets over exhaust fans which will not be used during cold weather. Next, Solar heaters can be used and the energy stored in this can be used to warm the house. The time period for brooding chicks in cold weather will be extended to even 4-6 to six weeks. Oil or fat can be added to feed and energy levels. Extra vitamins and minerals have to be supplemented. Next, both vitamin C and E can be given to increase the immune response. The feeders should always be full. Provide warm water to the birds. Prevent spilling of water on the litter. Increase the skulking density by 5%. And a gable type of roof or a full monitor roof would be ideal. Lastly, in temperate countries, environmentally controlled poultry houses are in vogue. The blower blows in warm air and fans circulate the warm air. Gas pressures are checked, inlets and outlets are open uniformly. Ventilation is adjusted to remove excess ammonia and to prevent increased fuel usage.